Так, уважаемые коллеги, ну давайте начнем э, нашу конференцию. Dear colleagues, let us begin our conference. И э, первый у нас докладчик, это Владимир Михайлович, да? Да. Значит, профессор Липунов, first reporter, профессор Владимир Липунов. Лин. Как это совпало? Так, добрый день всем присутствующим. Ох ты, народу это подошло. И людям, которые онлайн, я надеюсь, что их будет все больше и больше. Их уже немало, ребята. Ну, у меня вступительное слово, и я начну с него, собственно говоря, поскольку мы минут 10 тут постараюсь покороче сказать. Ну, вот это наша третья конференция, которая называется на русском языке значит, «Небо глазами роботов» или «Срывающаяся вселенная глазами роботов». И э, первая была 10 лет назад, и я покажу вот в вступительном слове участников, которые приходят на совместный снимок. Поэтому сразу, кстати, хочу сказать, что совместный снимок будет тот момент, когда будет максимальное число в интернете людей. Ну, сейчас делают, знаете, как вот, все были в онлайн-конференциях, люди собираются, включают видеокамеры, и это запоминается надолго. Вот. А реально это будет, по-видимому, в среду, где-то ближе к концерту и торжественному мероприятию. Почему, я думаю, тогда? Потому что тогда выступают самые далекие от нас коллеги из Мексики, и они просыпаются как раз где-то в районе пяти. Трансляции нет? Рожа, лицо мое видно? Нет? Ну и слава богу, мне не обязательно, я видел себя. Ну хорошо, Сережа, а тебя-то видел кто-нибудь? Не знаю. Его видели? Еще увидит. Короче, пару слов я хочу сказать вначале. Мы тут немножко замялись, я постараюсь сократить. Итак, это третья конференция, 20 лет. Немножко я вас напрягу с историей, но начать я бы хотел. Здесь вот авторы всех докладов, которые я тут делаю на этой конференции, это все наши соратники из разных стран мира. Ну, желающие могут почитать на досуге. Но вначале я бы хотел вспомнить людей, которые за 20 лет от нас ушли ушло три человека, очень ключевых человек. Вот я сейчас хочу о них сказать. Но вот Юрий Павлович Сергеенко, он в 20 году, в мае, да, он ушел. Не знаю, связано это было с ковидом или нет. Это, это бывший ректор Благовещенского педагогического университета. И он был, собственно говоря, решающим звеном вот установки нашего самого далекого телескопа в то время, восточного, это, считай, это где-то над, уже над Китаем, мы там нависли тогда. Вот. И, к сожалению, в молодом возрасте, я не знаю, 70 лет не было, это, я считаю, мальчишка. И вот молодежь, конечно, будет удивляться, но они поймут, что таким людям жить дожить да надо было бы. Вот Михаил Игоревич Панасюк. Это космическая часть проекта. Немножко будет в моем докладе, который будет потом. Я, ну, он вообще с мастером. Он вывел мастер в космос. Вот что я хочу сказать. Это очень важно. То есть никогда так не бывает. Без всякой инициативы нас пригласили туда. И мы впервые показали, как, как выглядит космос вокруг космического корабля. Это действительно впервые в истории человечества. Я вам покажу потом. Просто понимание этих кадров, оно приходит постепенно и не сразу. Ну и Виктор Геральдович Корнилов, который э, ушел от нас 1 мая прошлого года. Я как сейчас помню, с Кириллом мы поехали на рыбалку и вернулись оттуда. Долго боролся. Это, это главный мозговой центр инженерный, астрономический. Ну, он, это начальник лаборатории новых фотометрических методов. Его появление здесь не случайно. Мы одновременно, и он, по-моему, он даже раньше, простенький телескоп, который давал важную информацию, кисловодский, роботизированный поставил. То есть вот, в общем, телескоп начал двигаться благодаря Виктору Геральдовичу. Ну и вообще мы с ним по жизни, это мой близкий друг и однокашник. Конечно, мы, мы сейчас осиротели просто, потому что вот такого человека хочется все время поднять трубку или там зайти. 
Вот давайте встанем и помянем всех этих трех людей. Которые... Спасибо, спасибо. Так. Ну и кое-что мы будем вспоминать по ходу конференции. Обязательно, думаю, более подробно. И вспомним, и покажем слайды. Вот, в принципе, мы хотели транслировать слайды, но там, конечно, у нас транслятор такой. Но уже, по-видимому, на торжественном ужине. Ну вот я хочу немножко истории показать. Это первая конференция, 15 года, 10 лет. Было чему порадоваться. В 2015 году мы уже были глобальной сетью, то есть у нас бы стояли телескопы уже на Южной Африке, Канарских островах, и маленькая камера была в Аргентине. И здесь очень много ставших нам теперь родных людей из-за границы, и свои, и вот в центре здесь тут Мышка не... А, я же должен... Как, как можем показать? Теперь никто не показывает, да? Ну ладно, понятно. Как показывают на слайдах? Ну хорошо, братцы, не будем задавать вопросов. Всех этих людей прекрасно знаю, но вот Клаудио Маламачи, это первый директор, с которым мы встретились в Аргентинской обсерватории. Вот здесь он виден во втором ряду, надо мной слева, слева, чуть повыше. Но я не могу сейчас обо всех говорить, потому что мы обязательно о них поговорим и в свое время напишем. И я хочу сказать, это вы поймете чуть-чуть попозже, что все эти люди упоминаются в новой книге, которую мы сейчас подготовили к изданию. Вот в центре, обратите внимание, Сергей Михайлович Бодров, и, ну, Анатолий Михайлович, здесь есть люди, которые как бы сочувствующие и помогающие нам административно. Вот в данном случае академик Черепощук, всем известный. Хорошо, по, по, смотрите следующую конференцию. Вот людей стало, я бы не сказал, что меньше стало, даже чуть побольше. Это самый рассвет. Впервые мы, мы имели поддержку, и сейчас я скажу благодаря чему. Здесь появляется Франко Джованелли, который сделал, будет делать сейчас нам доклад, и я уже в качестве видения скажу, это очень важный человек, такой серый кардинал глобальной сети Майса, в хорошем смысле, не серый, а такой, я бы сказал, белый. Белый, да, белый, абсолютно чистый, в белых одеждах. Как он говорит, я и труск потомственный. Это человек, профессор из Рима, из, ну, будет у него сейчас доклад, вот. Почему я так говорю? Потому что он, именно он сделал, сделал такой идеологический вклад. Я часто ездил к нему на конференцию, однажды он просто назвал людей, которым надо обращаться за рубежом, и которые не попросят денег в ответ. Это, это очень важно, потому что никаких денег у нас за рубеж никто не давал никогда. Ни государство, ни копейки, никто. Ну, только один человек. Сергей Михайлович Бодров, я сейчас его упомяну. Ну и вот вы видите, в 2022 году эта глобальная сеть мастер выглядит таким образом. Вот я упоминал о книге, сейчас подготовлена вот такая книга с этим названием. I would like to, see, uh, to say several words, come back here for Franco translate. I would like to translate several words. The Franco is... Uh, You know, in universe there is the dark matter, dark energy, this is the dark supervisor of our project, essentially the foreign our sites, Argentina, uh, Canarian Islands, uh, Mexico, Mexico in, uh, included in these three observatories. The South, South Africa Observatory find us we not find this observatory. They, say us welcome. So I would like to say the uh, Franco Giovanelli, dark, uh, not dark, very light supervisor <laughs> our project, especially on the, uh, for the, for the um, expanding our net to the foreign kind, country. And uh, you see that the, now the only one uh, searching 
uh, searching telescopes around the world, uh, which collected in the one project. And uh, more and more, I would like to say this fully robotized net, not only telescope. And you can see, you can, uh, you can uh, uh, listen to the talk of the Artyom Kuznetsov, which especially concerning to the robotiz net robotization. And uh, this is a book which appeared, in, unfortunately, for the foreign people in Russian, but Russian is very simple language, uh, very, very, very like to Sanskrit. And the European people around there's a lot of Spain, all Latin American and these people. You see this chapter. Uh, I have the four minutes, and uh, this is a Russian and uh, Russian and uh, English Latin. You can see the uh, eleven chap uh, chapter. And uh, uh, I would like to say, chapter one, history of issue. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I show several slides. And uh, somehow more young people uh, give the talk on different uh, chapter of this, on this conference. These two men very, very important for our project. The left, that is our mecenat. Sponsor, sponsor is a bad word. I like the Russian mecenat, <laughs> the, the French maybe originally word. Uh, Sergei Mikhailovich Badrov, Sergei Badrov, which gave us first money for our project. And uh, uh, from the right side, you can see uh, uh, Alexander, Alexander Pavlovich Semyonov. Uh, он выпускник Московского государственного университета. университета. My friends, we, we, uh, on the right side, you see the uh, Dr. Semyonov. He, he, he finished the Russia, uh, Moscow State University, and he, say, uh, he uh, found this man, Sergei Badrov. They met 20 years ago, 21 one year before starting our project and Sergei and Alexander uh, say me this, there is some man he, he can to help us in the equipment in very 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 difficult years for Russia beginning of the 21th century. This is the first telescope you can see first four people around this telescope uh, Dima Kuvshinov Alex, Alexander Krylov, uh, the first telescope installed on the private territory. You see this project grows from the, uh, from the village, from the private territory. The first, uh, first uh, one of the first scientific projects grows uh, from the uh, private uh, initiative. And uh, Viktor Karnilov, and uh, me, uh, near the first robot, robotic telescope. You see the different part we found around the Moscow and uh, constructed this telescope, but telescopes, uh, yellow tube, this new, and uh, preparing by the Gennady Borisov, I would like to, that is the first telegram of master. Uh, that was is the first telegram concerning the observation, uh, follow-up observation of the alert of the integral uh, satellite. That is the first telegram of optical follow-up. Uh, we we give this telegram from the uh, near Moscow village, uh, and you see the more bright circle that is the error box of integral on the our image. The limit is not very big, but this historical for us image. Okay. And you see some very, uh, very known today people uh, and at that time very, very main uh, astrophysical people. Uh, Nikolai Ivanovich Shakura at the center and the professor Mm, uh, Professor Stauber from the Germany 
Макс Планк Институт, директор Макс Планк Институт, кам тут за Москву Виллис, и фаун за very, very crazy people around the, around the uh, self-preparing telescope. And uh, you see, uh, can I to show something or not? Данила, как я показываю здесь? Объясни мне, чем? Мышка, я понял. Это за Геннадий Борисов. Now uh, he known all, all astronomical community. He discovered uh, first interstellar comets. He preparing first our telescope. А это за uh, landscape from the, our first observatory on the my back side is the first robotic telescope and you see the background of the Russia the first years of this century and now you see that is a global master net and you see several photos what Franco you can see on the last conference and uh, this short acknowledgement all all people which uh, help us during the 20 years you can find on the youtube after the sometimes uh, and you can see in the book which uh, this i take from the uh, book text uh, that all uh, one minute I, uh, please let that finish thank you very much thank you Maybe any questions for Professor Lipunov? Пусть попробую. А как по интернету можно задать вопросы? А как им сообщить об этом? Я yeah, would like to say that you can ask by internet all people who. А как им сообщить, что ему задать вопрос? Они вас слышат. Они должны включить микрофон, тогда будет. О, майк он. Сережа, мы тебя слышим. Может, у тебя есть вопрос? Нет, нет, я хотел сказать, что да, иностранцам да. надо сказать, что пусть включат. Иностранцам надо сказать. Как, куда говорить иностранцы? Где они? Our foreign friends. If you now come to the conference, you can ask every talker using your browser, yes? А на что им нажать надо, не понимаю. А, press microphone and you can ask a talker. Not maybe for me and for next talker. Okay. Идем дальше, да? Да, 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 конечно. И мы же съели время. О. А, У нас есть человек специально. Александр Васильевич Тутуков, профессор Тутуков. Okay, thank you very much. 20 years, but at least years. For the next 40 years. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, we, we have the special section about perspective of the, our, our um, imagination of the, our future as a Wednesday. At the morning Wednesday, you can see four talkers, first me, okay. that is only concerning the, uh, our Plan, plan, plans, plans, yeah. Yeah. plans of the uh, development of this project. Yes, and the Wednesday, welcome. Morning, first talk. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And uh, uh, the next report is uh, uh, a report by Frank and Giovanelli. Are you here? Franco. Yeah, I can hear you, yeah. Uh, can you begin? I... Just a moment, Frank. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Oh. I... We see you. You can begin. 
Yes, but I need it. Okay, it's, it's okay. Uh, this is my contribution uh, to robotic telescope uh, conference, uh, and I will uh, uh, insert the importance of the small telescopes, especially robotic, uh, within the framework of the big experiments. And uh, uh, I have to point out also my feeling about the climate changes of uh, our planet, so that, so that I hope to give a, a contribution interesting for everybody. Uh, humanity is in a wrong path. All humans' efforts are inspired by the attempt to answer this question. Where do we, uh, we come from? Where are we going? Where, why we are here? And the Lev Nikolaevich told stories uh, in Anna Karenina and the Levin talk. They uh, started about uh, asking the same question. Also, Gauguin, the very important painter, uh, painted uh, this picture in which uh, the three questions were already uh, Form or formed. And uh, these figures present humanity in the different states of life from infancy to old age in a mysterious and uh, indeterminate nature. So, a scientific development alone cannot bring happiness nor can socialism or capitalism. There is something wrong in this historical moment. It doesn't matter how many conferences you make, how much emphasis on ethics, how many lessons in psychology or philosophy should be held. Something essential is missing. The great ideals of the 20th century communist capitalism were wrong because communism was distributing the wealth that did not produce and the capitalism produces wealth that does not distribute. Science in all its specialization searches to explain the morphology and the behavior of the universe but cannot answer to the three former fundamental questions. People search for a better way to live and the one spiritual tool for it is the compassion. The composition of the universe, we know that the content of the universe is uh, order of 3.6, 10 to 9 erg per second, and uh, the universe is permeated with the energy in a continuous exchange with matter via the formula E mc squared. The universe is a living being. The cosmic budget is uh, compound by ordinary matter about 4.4%, neutrinos 0.6%, and the dark matter and dark energy, the most uh, uh, important uh, constituents of the universe, that their, their origin is not yet known. Now with the with the, with the gravitational waves uh, detection, we open a new uh, era in understanding uh, the behavior of the universe. How to know our universe? What is now the situation about our knowledge of the universe? We know, and not very well, only about 5% of the universe. However, with the big experiments, space and the ground-based, and uh, multitude of small experiments, space-based and the ground-based experiments with the small telescope and robotic telescope, we are going to know better the composition and the laws governing our universe. But for this purpose, it is much better the use of wisdom beside the knowledge of the physics. And we have a bridge between the Big Bang and biology, and uh, of course this bridge exists because we are here. Then how to cross this bridge? What are the experimental tools for understanding the pillars of this bridge? In order to cross this bridge, as always when we cross a bridge, we must advance slowly, step by step with the continuity, because everything is smoothly linked with the in the magma of the universe, from the infinitely small to infinitely big. The ultimate unification will involve the quantum gravity, the Planck scale, and the cosmology. 
and uh, if we see a uh, dissection of a metabolic network in a simple bacterium note that each point uh, is connected to any other point through the complexity of the network as well as the network cosmic network each point is connected to any other point through the complexity of the network or even for the human body network is the same. Each organ of the human body is connected to the other via uh, the complexity of the network, as well as the human society network. And each point of the human society network uh, is uh, connected to any other point through the complexity of the network. So if we solve only one of these points without uh, 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 taking into account the, the interconnection uh, with the other uh, points, uh, it is not possible to solve nothing. <clears throat> Accretion processes, uh, we, we made uh, a couple of uh, uh, workshops in St. Petersburg in 2016 and the two time, 2018 and the 2020 was cancelled because of the COVID-19 virus. The, the accretion processes regulates the growth of and evolution of all objects in the universe from a young stellar object, white dwarf, neutral stars and black holes, active galactic nuclei, protoplanetary disk, planetary bombardment. And uh, the exchange of matter, especially in binary system, low mass binary system, uh, compounded by black holes or neutral star, and the high mass binary system compounded by black hole or neutral star, and the superclass of black hole B system or neutral star B system, and the cataclysmic variables with the um, exchange matter via Roche lob overflow in onto white dwarf. Uh, if we see this uh, um, this slide, we can see that uh, the different uh, behavior of cataclysmic variables can be compared with the different uh, uh, groups of uh, uh, humans and. Uh, all these humans, if, even if different, are humans, as well as the cataclysmic variables, are cataclysmic variables. <laughs> Therefore, it is necessary to find the method as general as possible to describe the behavior of cataclysmic variables. This can be obtained by looking at the accretion behavior and the magnetic field. And this, in, in nature, all its manifestation shows continuity. Then we have to abandon the convenient method of thinking everything in water tight compartments and go toward the general model for compact accreting style. And this was solved, in my opinion, by Vladimir Likonov many years ago with the scenario machine in which a gravimagnetic rotator rotates with the omega velocity and the magnetic moment mu, introducing a gravimagnetic parameter given by m dot over mi square. It is possible to describe each kind of accretion, accretion systems in a diagram log p spin versus log gravimagnetic uh, 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 parameter. And uh, this is uh, Vladimir and myself in May 90 in, during uh, a workshop in which this system, uh, this, this scenario machine was put uh, on to the attention of uh, all the international community. Multifrequency observations, possibly simultaneous, are fundamental in photonic astrophysics, particle astrophysics, and the search for counterparts of the gravitational wave events. Two classes of the physics experiments we have, and the one is active physics experiments, where we try to reproduce in laboratory the phenomena occurring in nature like uh, the Large Hadron Collider, uh, compounded by different uh, experiments that uh, gave the uh, detection of the Higgs boson uh, 
with the detection of Higgs boson, practically uh, the standard model of physics is completed. And uh, this was done by Atlas experiment and CMS experiments, giving uh, uh, the energy of uh, the boson 126.5 and 125.3 uh, uh, jet. So the Higgs boson has been detected. And this is the future circular leptonic collider with the collisions up to 100 AD, uh, which is programmed in uh, the same area of, uh, uh, of the CERN, but this is the new ring, which is much greater than the large hadronic uh, ring here. <coughs> Passive physics experiments, ground and space-based, we observe the nature with the, the passive physics experiments. For instance, the Perugier Observatory, which gives which give a contribution, fundamental contribution around the ankle, and uh, here are reported all the measurements coming from different uh, experiments. So the uh, the uh, curve of the energy, uh, the flux versus energy is completely uh, uh, known. We have different very high energy observatories like HES, uh, AUK, and uh, uh, other, and uh, we have the MEGA, which is the uh, first step of the new uh, square kilometer array, which has been constructed in South Africa and the Western Australian in Merchis on Shine. Uh, the SCA is uh, practically the configuration uh, which give uh, the image resolution quality better than Hubble Space Telescope. The European Extreme Large Telescope will give a strong impact on the world astrophysics. This is a picture uh, in order to compare the, large, the Extreme Large Telescope with the pyramids. It is a very impressive picture. Uh, we have uh, the future experiments like the Zeus integralist in function and the EXTP, which is the one to launch in, uh, um, in, in 2025. <clears throat> now, XEXP is uh, the Imagine X ray polarimeter explorer, has been launched on the December 9, 21, and this is the first uh, experiment ex ex exclusively uh, devoted to perimeter of the cosmic sources. And this is the image of the supernova cas A with the data combined by X, e XP and Chandra X-ray uh, measurement. The uh, Hubble Space Telescope has, uh, was launched in uh, 25 April 90. It's given a lot of uh, in very important results, like the deep field in which uh, the, during one week of uh, ex exposure it was possible to detect uh, thousands of uh, galaxies in this field, apparently uh, dark until that time. And uh, the colliding galaxies, uh, that uh, when they collide, they make love, not war, because in, in this collapse, they are producing uh, millions of new uh, stars. And uh, this is the, based on data of the Hubble Space Telescope, the Milky Way galaxy will collide with the Andromeda galaxy in uh, about 4 billion years. <coughs> Uh, James Webb Telescope, launched the 25 December 21, has given uh, uh, the first images very important. This is the 
first deep field image and the comparison with the um, with the Hubble Space Telescope, Hubble Space Telescope, ten days of uh, of uh, exposure with the James Webb Telescope, only twelve point five hours. So the improvement is really very very big. And this is another important image just to see the sensitivity of uh, James Webb. This is the Spitzer Chirac uh, exposure, uh, exposure at 8 micron, and this is the Webb Miri at 7.7 micron. You can see the, the, the difference, evident difference between the two, uh, the two uh, fields. And this is also the, uh, the field of MIRI in James Webb Space Telescope. And this is the uh, camera, uh, near infrared camera. So it is possible, so here you can see the difference of uh, the sensitivity of uh, the two instruments inside of James Webb Telescope. This is the famous uh, Stefan Quintet, uh, and this is the image of the Hubble Space Telescope, and this is the image of a James Webb Telescope. And this is a very important uh, and uh, impressive image that reveal emerging stellar nurseries and individual stars in Carina Nebula that were previously obscured. So the importance of the small experiments. <clears throat> uh, we cannot omit the extreme importance of a small experiment, space-based experiments and the ground-based experiments. The reason of introducing the robotic telescope is very simple because with the robotic telescope we avoid the presence of uh, humans at the telescope, therefore using uh, the winner idea of using a robotic telescope was used starting about five decades ago. And uh, robotic telescopes, of course, are particularly important in the field of gamma ray burst, where early observations have led to significant advances in understanding the physics of these events. And uh, using the robotic telescope, the observations are more efficient, efficient and less costly. But, however, the main disadvantage of the robotic system is that automation requires the work. The more sophisticated the degree of autonomy the telescope has, the greater the amount of work required to enable that functionality. Uh, among the many fields of astrophysics that can be explored with the, with the, the robotic telescope are the detection of exoplanets. Uh, exoplanets can be detected by radial velocity method, the transit photometry, photometry method, gravitational microlenses method, astrometry method, direct imaging method, time method, pulsar and stellar pulsation, and the radio observations method. Bennett et al. in this white paper in 2020 summarized current and the planet exoplanet detection programs using a variety of methods. Uh, this is the uh, update to June 30, 2022, this year, the exoplanet census, uh, the detection with different methods, and uh, the fundamental news is that the water present in Earth oceans is coming from the uh, nebula uh, present before the formation of the solar system. So this means that the water is present in the universe much more frequent than we believed in, 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 in the past. Uh, the exoplanet discovered by, Blair, by Kepler at, uh, in June 30, 2022 are candidate almost 9,000 and uh, confirmed more than 5,000. So that uh, with the Kate mission also we have uh, confirmed exoplanet 500 and uh, uh, candidate planet almost 
1000. This means that if we look at the, the field of view of uh, Kepler, which is uh, 3000 light years, we can uh, we can calculate the lower limit of uh, uh, Earth size planets in habitable zone because the Kepler's confirm 5000 planets. 1,000 of them are at Earth size in a volume of 3.3 kiloparts a cubic. The habitable zone is of order of 3,030 kiloparts a cubic. So we can expect 10 to 5 Earth size planets in habitable zone. Moreover, now we know that planets around other stars are the real rather than exception. Then we can expect hundreds of billions of exoplanets in the Milky Way alone. And the, the galaxy are order of 10 to 12. So we, we can say that, uh, that uh, the, 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 the planets are really, really very, very numerous. This is the future experiment wide field infrared survey telescope, renamed the Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope. And this is, uh, 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 this was launched on April 2027. And this is a very important uh, experiment because it has a sensitivity of order of 10 times big, the bigger than Hubble Space Telescope. Two ice free thinkers affirm at the distance of 2012 years about. They affirm that expose uh, the Loto Sutra of the text of Mayana Buddhism exposes a grandiose vision of the universe through the concept of major systems of the words, a concept on huge scale that implies both the existence and the countless galaxies and the possibility of a sentient life on other planets and other than our own. And uh, about a thousand years later, uh, Giordano Bruno, who was burned alive at Campo de Fiori by the Saint Inquisition, uh, was burned because of his book, The Infinito Universe and Mundi, in which he, he says practically the same. The universe is formed by a big amount of worlds, namely galaxies, namely a lot of uh, uh, planets in which it's possible to have uh, life. And he said, whether we like it or not, we are the cause of ourselves. Being born in the world, we fall into the illusion of the senses. We believe in what appears. We ignore that we are blind and deaf. Then the fear attacks us and we forget that we are divine. We can change the course of events. This was enough to be condemned by the Saint Inquisition. Of course, we must wait scientific confirmation of the alien life. We must wait even more for the discovery of intelligent life. But the number of detected planets is growing very fast. We expect 400, 500 billion planets in our galaxy, and we have about 10 to 12 galaxies in the universe. Thus, we can reasonably affirm that the universe is full of life, hoping to avoid to be burned alive. And the number of automatic astronomical facilities worldwide continues to grow, and uh, uh, this uh, has a strong impact in many astrological fields, like extrasolar planet, variable parts in our galaxy, uh, Arctic nuclei, supernova, and the high energy transients, such as gamma ray bursts. And this is uh, 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 the uh, robotic astronomical observatories web, uh, worldwide. And uh, I have uh, uh, right here that around the 65, the Wisconsin Gautomat Photoelectric Telescope on 8 inch reflector was coupled to a computer with the 4 kilobytes only memory. So, in this moment, uh, the robotic uh, uh, systems of the telescope started. And uh, we have now uh, some uh, 
a sort of um, list of uh, experiments with human medical telescope survey and the monstrous explosion in which uh, uh, it has been uh, obtained uh, sorry because the, the slides can cannot be uh, cannot be uh, divided between the figures and uh, and uh, uh, sentences like and the chase Chilean automatic supernova earth it was devoted to uh, the detection of uh, uh, of uh, supernova and in the first years of uh, activity uh, the number of uh, supernova were more than 100 and this is the curve obtained the volumetric curve of one uh, supernova with the blue circle and the, the adrenaline model in uh, red <coughs> Planet is the Robin Lenses Anomalies Network. Main results less than less than 33 percent of M dwarfs in the galactic verge with the Jupiter Mars companions between 1.5 and astronomical units, and less than 45 percent have three Jupiter Mars companions between one and seven astronomical units. These are the first significant limits on planetary companion to M dwarf. The Lars Observatory Global Telescope Network is a research organization in the process of designing and building a network of robotic telescopes to be used for research in time domain astrophysics and education. The network will have a complete latitude coverage in both hemispheres to allow continuous observation of any target. And the first results of this system was coming from the Arctic Key Project. The Super Galaxy Arc 151 was monitored for about the base and it was detected the variation point in magnitude as well as the variations in HP beta flux changing by factor of about three. And the estimation of the black hole mass of this uh, galactic nuclei is uh, 6.2 in 10 to 6 solar masses. Uh, another uh, another uh, important experiment was that, uh, reported by Edward Seppel in 2021. Uh, this, uh, this is the list of the, the next planet. And uh, these uh, planets are a potential target for the mission Ariel and the James Webb Space Telescope that will be able to observe the whole sky. The ESTAR project uh, must, uh, was a multi agent system that aimed to implement a heterogeneous network of robotic telescopes for automatic observing and ground based follow up of transient events. By 2007, uh, they reported uh, in, important uh, uh, results, but unfortunately, it, this program was stopped in 2009 because. Uh,
Batsman Automatic Human Telescope. Both instruments are dedicated to quickly localize and observe transient like gamma ray bursts. Uh, have a key gamma ray burst uh, follow up network. Uh, almost all the more instruments of the EK uh, gamma ray burst uh, follow up network are the same time part of the ISON International Scientific Optical Network project and the water to space the piece of situation. <coughs> ISON is the International Scientific Optical Network project, original constructed to observe the space debris and the geostationary satellite. ISON comprises several worldwide the more, uh, small automatic telescope uh, with aperture less than one meter. ISON started the observations of a gamma in 2010. And uh, with the with uh, uh, the great uh, the Grand Telescope of Canary Island uh, will be a very useful tool for uh, detecting uh, gamma ray wa waves follow up. These are the statistics of gamma ray burst detection, uh, and this is the statistic of the eyes on contribution to the worldwide optical observation for gamma ray burst after those. Sorry, I go very uh, fast because I want to count at the end. The master net size are uh, listed here, and uh, undoubtedly, the contribution to the ancient presence in astronomy program is fundamental. For instance, in the period 2013 to 2014, the contribution is of order of 25% total. And uh, one important uh, uh, result of the master is the, the estimation reported the, the, after the gamma ray, uh, sorry, after the gamma ray of 59 And these uh, results are consistent with the conclusions that the gamma ray, uh, the, sorry, the, the gravitational waves from uh, this event were produced in binary form measure. And the detection was predicted by the Lipuno and the mass and crystals are listed right here, and I uh, will go just to give uh, um, a selection then because uh, these main results will be discussed uh, in the following talk by, by Vladimir Lipunov. So we have a lot of uh, important results, and uh, I have put also the, the references of each kind of. Uh, results, but anyway, the, one of the most important global measurements. Master Sao detected, for instance, uh, a lot of new cataclysmic variables uh, reported here. So the really the master uh, experiment is very useful for all the kind of uh, field of uh, astrophysics. We have also multi-site observations like Musicos is an old program uh, dated 30 years ago for short period of spectroscopic variations in B star, rotating the stream structure and the winds of the premium sequence at big AE stars and the Doppler imaging and the flare monitoring of RS Venaticorum type, type active star. And uh, this is uh, one uh, campaign of musicals about uh, this RS Canon Venaticorum HR1099, in which 17 telescopes observed uh, uh, continuously this uh, object. Then we have a multi type observations, whole Earth telescope is a collaborative effort between astronomers over the world who are interested in studying variability of astronomical objects objects that very continuously require constant monitoring in order to unambiguously measure the intrinsic variations, which is impossible from a single site on Earth. <coughs> so, uh, small telescopes and unreliable tools complementary to larger telescopes and the ground and the space-based multi-frequency experiments. The use of Sweden physics. Uh, the correct procedure in passive uh, physics is to observe and collect experimental data, to analyze this data without any a priori bias, 
to attempt their interpretation and the base of the current models. And if not possible, it is mandatory to search for other models that cannot be adopted. This seems trivial, but unfortunately, it is not so. In close binary system, but the star and optical star, many physical processes occur. Obviously, there is a mutual influence between the two stars. Low energy processes influence the high energy processes and the vice versa. <clears throat> but never confuse the effect with the cause. There is a general law in the universe, cause and effect. The cause generates an effect and not vice versa. So the time lag of the high energy events uh, and the low energy events in this fed accretion X-ray binaries started uh, with the study of uh, this object uh, A O five thirty five plus twenty six slash H D twenty four fifty five fifty seven seventy. <coughs> Uh, we, we noted the, a delay between optical event and the X-ray event, and using the, the period uh, like this, which is uh, uh, in, including in all the measurements obtained both in X-rays and uh, in optical. Uh, Myself and Gennady Bisnati Kogan formed a, a model in which it was described this delay. The optical data we had are coming from a small telescope of 35 centimeters placed in Zaragoza, Spain. And we obtained also the relationship between X ray intensity and the variations of the magnitude around the passage of the periastron. So the general model is like this the matter enters in the external part of the accretion disk, the accretion disk is viscous, then employ some time to arrive onto the neutral star. And this is the delay obtained, where uh, these are the symbols explained. M is M over solar in solar masses, and dot is um, M in 10 to minus 8 solar masses per year. T4 is T0 over T over 10 to 4 Kelvin viscosity and zero is the maximum temperature, temperature in optics. Then we use this formula to uh, look at the delay in a high mass X-ray BN system in uh, a cataclysmic variable, SSIGNI, in a low mass X-ray binaries with the neutral star and in a low mass X-ray binaries with the black hole. And uh, these are the experimental delay, and this is the, the delay computed uh, with the, the formula reported before. So that uh, this model is uh, excellent to, to describe the delay in uh, between optical and uh, X-ray events. What intelligent humanity is doing? Uh, uh, the biological balance is amenaced, the planet is infested, perhaps irreparably, on one species, human. We are now almost 8 billion, and uh, we have a prediction of 11 billion in 2015. Therefore, it is not enough to behave well, we must reduce our number, unless we seriously think colonize the solar system. <coughs> the temperature is growing, is growing on, and uh, the hurricane are coming with the velocity more than 200 kilometers per, per second. Then uh, the damage they can produce is stronger because. So, now the reality is getting more possible for Francesco, and we can see that uh, this really is getting. Uh, uh, is in the class. What intelligent man is doing? Let the surface loss. Only the effect of the surface is left for the conservation of the human species. Accretion process is not ocean. We are working with the past 
all the other. And we have the big constituents of the plastic, the size is greater than the size of the France surface. And this is what is going on in, in this part of, of the ocean. Uh, humans use 18 trillion pounds of plastic. Means one billion of elephants just to have an idea of about the damage coming from plastic, and this is a part of prisoner of our plastic. We have also accretion process in space. The space debris are polluting the space around us, and now it is uh, uh, the situation. Humans are so intelligent that they manage to contaminate even the space, which is the only escape from planet. Glenn said, when uh, I was 50 years ago, when I was in the space, really it was space, and now the situation is this. So that uh, it's true that the accretion is universal uh, in each kind of uh, uh, activity of humans, and uh, the conditions are different. In the future, we look at our species as we look at the path of the dinosaurs. So I propose to change the name Homo sapiens to Homo stultus. Then, if we look at intelligent life in the universe, why we should look for those like ours? Thank you. Thank you. Uh, many thanks for very interesting uh, reports. Uh, please, the questions. I don't think. Uh, uh, Tukov, uh, answer. Thank you for a very wide uh, picture what you present to us uh, now. So my question, uh, especially about the last part of your uh, talk, uh, more than 40 years ago I have found that any certain stuff has to have planning system from statistics of binaries. So now many experiments support this estimate. So any of us, there are uh, several best planning systems only now, but several tests that is presented to you and to all other stuff. I saw the question of the rest, uh, old question of Enrique Fermi about eight years ago, what to my memory. Ask where they are. This question is still uh, unanswered properly. And so what is your variant of answer was the Enrique Fermi question, where they are. So uh, to what, in what direction, uh, current civilization is moving? I I can't tell very well. However, uh, I, can, I can repeat the uh, essence of questions. Where, where uh, are our brothers in the world? If I have, if I have the, the, the question of the modern observations, it's related to the quantity of, of data we can acquire and uh, we, we are uh, going to the problems of analyzing the data because the, the quantity of data is really very big and uh, we are not uh, in this moment able to analyze all, all this data coming from the so numerous experiments, either, either uh, small. Okay, uh, one more question. Uh, maybe uh, online, uh, uh, the new somebody Yes, the chat. I have a question. Uh, what do you think about the discovery of uh, the particles? Is it a small or is it a very long question? What do you think? Uh, probably with the, with the James Webb telescope, we will have some uh, astonishing results, and probably we will go a bit uh, closer to the solution. But uh, in my opinion, the real solution is, really, is still uh, rather uh, far from the end. Okay. Thank you. Well, let's start again. And our report is uh, also Vladimir Nikolov, please. No, oh, the scientific talk, <laughs> not before I say no. Okay. I would like to talk uh, about the makeup of master global system. As a talk of Frank is very, very remarkable. I, I was on a lot of conference and I'm one of the more, more, uh, uh, more clear and more wide understanding the universe scientists in the world. Really, I don't know who, who can give a talk in any confidence. Thank you very much, Franco. Okay, uh, I would like to shoot the coin. Ah, it's a passing with slide there. Oh, uh, let me start a uh, talk, uh, which uh, named as uh, 20 years of master global logic. Main result. 
uh, uh, I give you, show you the uh, short list, the main result, main result which we have during these two dozen years. And this, uh, where is English? Where is my English? I'm sorry. Oh, mamma mia. Okay. During 20 years, we discovered a lot of transient in the universe. Ten types of astrophysical transient master discoveries, maybe more than uh, any telescopes in the uh, world. And uh, uh, we, the total number of transients which we discovered is about 3,000 transients, about maybe something more, I don't know. But today I would like to present some uh, more more uh, top of this transient. Uh, but uh, that is only my view on this moment. I know maybe after that, uh, maybe somebody from a more interesting clubs. And uh, you see that is, uh, all our transients, which we discovered, but this only 2,000, Natasha, go up. But uh, because I say in English, uh, do not uh, read the slide, the slide for the information. And uh, we started. So, uh, my goal of this talk to sh show you the very wide field and astronomy which we have Excluded as one, maybe all of the objects must have discovered. Uh, so, the first point which I would like to discuss is the discovery of this um, uh, solar system. Uh, I would like to stress you that all master discovery, almost maybe more than 90%, is discovered automatically. Some of this discovery uh, not checked and sent it and published without the map. For example, the, for example all observation of the minor planets is uh, directly published, uh, sent it from our robots to the robots in the uh, 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 Minor Planet Center of uh, International Astronomical Union. The most remarkable uh, discoveries, uh, we, we discovered several, uh, five or six, I don't remember, uh, but most remarkable discoveries, the initial asteroid diameter 900 kilometers. No, I'm sorry, <laughs> but uh, in any case, it's three times more than the uh, very well known asteroid office. Uh, you see, he has a uh, very uh, beautiful orbit, this asteroid. They potentially dangerous asteroid for three planets, Venus, S, and Mars. But not in the nearest future, fortunately. And uh, uh, the, uh, now the uh, astronomers, uh, the, the period, period is two years, two years, very short, very short, very big body uh, moving through this several three orbits of the planet. Okay, next one. Next one area is uh, very, very different from the solar system. We come to our galaxy, to the signs of the uh, uh, binary stars, classical binary stars region. We discovered in 90, I don't remember, uh, maybe two, maybe seven years ago, I don't, oh, mamma mia, no. We try to understand it. What what is the system? For this, we ask the Victor Afanasyev, unfortunately, he died several years ago, no, last year, no, maybe two years ago, and he uh, take a, a spectrum of this object inside the eclipse and, uh, and uh, outside. In the, you see, he, the, I come back for a minute, you can see the amplitude of uh, mag, about 10 magnitude at maximum and minimum uh, 15, 15 magnitude. That's very, very deep occultation. And uh, you see this uh, spectrum show us very, very strange details. The first, we see uh, uh, spectrum uh, in uh, at the occultation, which is spectrum typical super giants M class. But in the uh, higher state, we see the emission line, emission line, and this means that in, this is a binary system with a very bright star, a blue star, maybe spectral OB star. And uh, uh, maybe that is a picture, <laughs> only no scientific explanation, one possible explanation, this binary system, uh, the, this very, very strange components, massive stars, 
with disk around, with disk around and super giants, which may be produced the dust and stones and uh, comets and who knows. But this not last uh, miracles, the, this uh, galactic latitude, latitude galaxy, uh, galaxy, this uh, stars is very high. This distance uh, from the flat of the of the this galaxy, there is no blue stars, very very young blue stars. Very strange system. This only one interpretation and no theoretical interpretation in in, in the publishing paper. I, I not found. Then another very interesting uh, area of the discovery by master, that is the discovery of the Red Nova. Red Nova, no Nova, that is a usual classical uh, astronomical phenomenon. But now as, uh, we know only four or five Red Nova in the history of astronomy. One of them belonged to master. This Red Nova discovered in the in uh, Andromeda galaxy. You see this master, master uh, image. This is a place where you can see, but give not show here. You see this this movie, but not show. Okay, I was I would like to next file my. Oh, you see, this is my uh, how to say I. I Mm. I predicted that, that film, not movie. Uh, and you can see uh, that is a master, big master image of the uh, of the Andromeda. And this master Nova, Red Nova, you see here. And the first image where we discovered this magnitude was 19.2. Gennady's image. This for you when you think in big or small telescope. This means, for example, we can discover it, same phenomena in the far galaxy uh, if this phenomena have 19.5. In other words, if you if we received from LIGO uh, alert for the uh, merging of two neutron stars, we can see uh, these events at the distance more than 10, more than 100 megaparsecs. That's our horizon. Because brightness, surface brightness galaxy not dependent on the distance, as you know. That's very, uh, that is very uh, important image for the, our another field. So the classical field, but not classical object that you see the Sergei Blinikov with collaborators help us to uh, interpret it, this very long, very bright uh, 50, 50 days, more, more than 50 days light curve in different filters and all, all big telescopes, Spitzer space telescope observing this uh, discovered by master phenomena. And the uh, result, next one, that is the most, uh, the most probably scenario, that is a merging of two usual stars, two usual, maybe main segment stars, like two, uh, two three solar mass stars. Total, total mass, several solar mass. That is uh, some calculation, not, not ours, but from the internet. You see here. So we, uh, we see several magic in universe and next magic which we see in optics is uh, neutron stars. Neutron stars and usual stars. This. Okay, go far. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, that is a result. The master is a leader, world leader of the yearly observation of gamma ray bursts. 
the best uh, you see here the paper published in astrophysics journal you see the typical not typical that is very very uh, exclusive bars with very very slow uh, no, uh, smooth optical light curves different grb that is a 10 grb discovered by uh, all uh, astronomers smooth grb and half of them the master discovered by master you see the beginning is very good you see the non-monotonic light curve very very smooth we called this emissions uh, source source uh, self uh, smooth optical cell similar emission of the grb class of grb you, we discovered uh, system uh, in which this uh, curve have the universal light curve that is the undimensional plugs different between maximum and uh, uh, and the magnitude this curve and uh, this is uh, undimensional time the redshift not come here not not uh, not playing here excluded redshift excluded you see the universal uh, light curve okay uh, this uh, half of this uh, grb is absorbed firstly master that 50 uh, percent of the good light curve yearly light curve is produced by master telescope or grb that's very a lot of a lot of people try to observe grb that's our uh, interpretation you see uh, the very very uh, first uh, attention the two type of optical emission the first the emission from the region so-called inverse shock wave in the jet and another bow shock is very very smooth that we did we, we discussed it here and we dis discovered the universal form which theoretically maybe explain it in yearly paper in the classical yearly paper 19 years uh, we, uh, I, uh, that is a diabetic study st stage that is the uh, when the bow shock move the a lot of mass of the stellar wind and here we see the typical uh, relativistic set of expansion depending on the loss of energy by photons the power law well-known spectrum that is not well known so very interesting discovery we just uh, in, in the gamma ray region one problem uh, for us very interesting uh, a long time uh, from the first year where we when uh, we started and zero age of this zero years of this uh, century uh, we uh, our dream was the discovery optical transient uh, without grb detection so last year we uh, not but discover this uh, uh, optical transient was published by Zwicky. Uh, instrument but speaking not alert telescope uh, very wide field not alert and uh, you see the on this slide curve you see that the master observed this phenomena three hours uh, yearly than the speaky project so no grb around the our course here you can ask him, uh, Dmitry Swinkin, try to find GRB, uh, GRB detection on the Fermi, on the integral, on the conus, and so, so no apparatus not seen.
So the, the first prompt, first uh, orphan optical flyer with non-monotonic light curve. Uh, the later you see the uh, listen the um, talk of the talk of the uh, the interpretation will give the Vladislav Topolev talk at the Tuesday. Okay, and this very interesting this paper. Uh, sent it to monthly notices after February and uh, accepted in the monthly notice journal. So uh, some uh, activity was mastered in the space. Lomonosov, maybe some people will like to, uh, Sergei Igorevich, uh, supervisor of our session, uh, will be presented our plan and our uh, before experiment Lomonosov. And, uh, and you see that is a very, very unusual picture which we received from the Lomonosov Observatory from the space. And before, never people on the earth see this picture. What is this? That is the result of the uh, result of обработки, как это reduction, reduction of the video, not video, that is a very short uh, image from the optical camera, shock camera, master shock, shock, and uh, uh, you see result of automatic reduction of the 100,000 images. Usually, if you have the video camera, all cosmonauts, astronauts, and uh, taken out can have the video and uh, take a film, but no object around, he found. Because this object very quickly comes. And uh, uh, in the 19th century, when first photograph with obscure camera, if you take and look to the uh, first photograph in 19th century, you see no people and no uh, moving uh, caret, caret, yes, how, I don't know, ни карет, ни прохожих, ни пешеходов нет на фильмах, полученных с помощью камеры обскура. Вот так примерно люди, наши космонавты, видят окружающее пространство, которое, как показал Франко Дживанелли, заполнено мусором. А мы видим этот мусор, потому что это не просто камера, а роботизирован. Unfortunately, the next... Okay, we discussed it in the Wednesday, yes, at morning session, our, our plans to the repeat and on the more high level this experiment. Okay, that is a... You see here, uh, Mikhail Igorevich Panasiuk left on the left, that is a scientific supervisor of the Lomonosov Observatory, unfortunately died and the COVID era. And uh, Ivan Vasilich Yashin, uh, that is uh, the main constructor. Chief designer. Huh? Chief designer. Yes, 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 yes. And uh, for me, this very, very interesting point in the cosmic, uh, cosmic equipment, uh, space equipment. The first white camera, robotic white camera. Never people to see this picture. You see here. On видите там, ну вот на этой камере внизу матрас пролетает какой-то. Наверное, обшивка. Это, это было получено уже на первых орбитах после старта. Very quickly from the start of the first start from the космодром восточный. Окей, okay, I must go. Another activity uh, last five, six years, maybe seven years. Five minutes. Yes, uh, activity is a neutrino with neutrino experiment. And uh, the most Remarkable result is the discovery uh, the, the ice cube event uh, uh, 
September 22 September 2017, and we uh, our telescope of Crimea. You see, Master in Crimea, Master Tavrida, received this three images. I'm sorry. And you see the, the left image one day before neutrino detection. That is next image uh, two minutes after uh, neutrino detection, the most fastest detection of variability of the blazer. That is a blazer. We discussed it on the Scientific American Conference uh, before one year. <laughs> after one year this and right this after two hours blazar come back to the usual position the, the first short correlation between neutrino detection and optical astronomy this i uh, uh, maybe i i don't know kirill maybe to the uh, uh, next day yes next day kirill zirkov uh, talks more you see that as a, I, I, no, this data Kirill discuss it tomorrow. That is some problem. Okay, I'm going more. That is discovery of polarization. This Zhenya uh, talk today at evening, maybe. Zhenya Garbovskoy data. Uh, you see the first discovery of the uh, prompt optical polarization. What you see this. Uh, some histograms, that is the value of the polarization. You see different vari variable polarization during gamma ray bursts. This is not afterglow. Afterglow is much more later. Okay. Another uh, connection with the big uh, physical experiments. No, first of all, this gravitational wave, you see the keep torn one year before. Nobel Prize <laughs> receiving, and uh, uh, Master participated in optical localization of the first merging, of the first detecting gravitational wave uh, localization in history of astronomy. Six telescopic, six telescopes, independently uh, detected optical object on the with the accuracy more than one angle second. This phrase very important for the physicists which supervisor in this paper do not understand this at all. One square degree and 10 million times more square than the one astronomical angle second area. You understand one million. The error box of the gravitational wave error, the best gravitational error box have the 127 maybe between the last, 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 with the better, better, 30 square degrees. That's almost billion times more than the optical localization. So that's real localization, which give us firstly to see where where uh, gravitational wave created. You see that as the error box, the Sligo, Green, Fermi, the uh, 1000 square degree, maybe several hundreds, billion times more. But very important, of course, um, Trampapan, no problem. <laughs> but you, uh, the people which work with gravitation, were well, not very good understanding of the real astronomy, classical astronomy. That is a, uh, our experiment. Uh, two gravitational wave antenna in one Italian Virgo, LIGO, give the alerts, and two telescopes more suitable, the South Africa master, this master system at that moment, no Mexico at that time. And we, well, I, I give the 15 minutes for the Franco. 
I don't know no. from the philosophy, <laughs> so I, I must to see. That is a time chronod uh, time schedule diagram of the observation. The first I would like this two seconds. I'm sorry. Da yoshki matryoshki. No, где ж тут этот самый? Я буду на санскрите говорить. Где мышки, ребята? Ладно, хорошо. Вот смотрите, это uh, this, this is gravitational wave, this is Fermi gamma ray, two seconds between, several, several seconds, yes? Yeah, yes, zero, two. That is, uh, no, no, this is very late, uh, this one, nine day, but next time this six, warp telescope five american and one russian telescope master detected russian uh, i mean preparing but this uh, telescope the common project with the argentinian and russian astronomers and you see the force in time time here you see that is not minutes that is a part of the hours between this four first image 20 minutes 20 30 minutes only half an hour people and distance 150 light year and only 20 minutes between this that is the power of the astronomy and that is a uh, very interesting so I would like to show very quickly because I have to take a sun. That is a diagram. Usually people not show. The first show, you see, swap telescope. One student, one student suddenly <laughs> discovered it on the second mirror. <coughs> uh, Kilonova. That is, uh, that is, uh, no, maybe 10 minutes before, 10 minutes. You see, there's a time from the gravitation wave alert. This is part of ours. After 10 minutes, Delta, Vista. Vista never discovered any optical transient in world. I don't understand why. But uh, after that, the four meter, that is one of the six meter, six telescope. Uh, 40 centimeter. Uh, uh, that is a master. Imagine uh, that is a, um, uh, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 28 minutes after first image, but three hours before publication. Three hours before publication. That is automatically our telescope image. Okay, that's very interesting. That is real localization. That is our colleagues with, uh, from the Argentina. After one year after installation, fantastic. Okay, that is film of our, we try to, we discovered optical transient in usual our inspection because we, we only one wide field telescope between this which uh, presented here. So we discovered 2000 transient, one of the 2000 transient. That is a red line, that is a publication. Uh, yellow, we started, the green, we found here. You see, that is hours, uh, that is time. Okay. Nobody in uh, word uh, shows this picture okay uh, how to the nuka oh that is illustration how to master on the big image four square degree discover it kilonova this illustration this not real process because real process uh, 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 search on the big image simultaneously on all. No, that is a, only a demonstration, you see. 
the two telescopes observed from the South Africa and South America. Okay, that is differences between uh, discovery image and uh, our reference image. You see objects, this Kilano. This is very bright object for our telescope, maybe 10 times more brighter than the red Noah, which, which I show you on the previous file. It is our composition of this uh, kilonova and this discovery, people. Uh, that is a NASA video, no sound, no. Не бывает Вот это вот явление, вот вот эта штука мы видели. Это, ну, об этом скажут люди, которые Евгеников будет докладывать с авторами уже детально теорию, гидродинамическую теорию этого явления. Вот. Ну и это вот, чем я хочу похвастаться, это за our achievement, the last December we installated, uh, installated last point on the North America, first point on North America in Mexico. Master telescope, that is first image, first slide. And here we discovered several dozen transient which discussed in the talk of the Gleb Antipov, maybe. Where, when, when you talk tomorrow, yes, tomorrow you can see the new site of master very quickly discovered because soft is installed and uh, after some inspection we started to discuss uh, that is our publication you see that is very important for us but not important for soviet foundation uh, offices no not see we have not any grants from the russian foundation uh, committee no and that now that is only one white white telescope robotic telescope searching system around the world. American people very quickly grow the Atlas system, but now master, but we have no. You see uh, the starting from the, from the master project, we have the, uh, this is my citation, but uh, real citation master was less, but now that is all master citation more than 1000 per year thank you very much i am sorry thank you i think the next talkers with data the data of the talkers maybe okay explain it no oh, several questions yeah, um, I'm sorry. i wonder what is the size of the mexican telescope what are the на каком? На мексиканском. Какой диаметр а, мексиканского телескопа? Диаметр. 40 сантиметров, 40 а. сантиметров. Это стандарт мастер твин телескоп. Еще у меня короткий вопрос по поиску Килановой. Да. Вот там есть распределение вероятности на небе. Почему телескоп на юг шел, а на север не шел, где вроде тоже была значительная какая-то вероятность? В начале, в начале, в начале, в начале, в начале, в The error box was very big, but uh, in Blagovetian telescope uh, was it rain. Uh, we have no sky in Russian telescope at, at all, at, fortunately. <laughs> no, the, not fortunately, but uh, the real weather is not very good at this time. But I, we have no at that time. I don't know what is a Crimea telescope, maybe. Uh, Pasha Balanusa in his talk is the same this uh, answer. But this, uh, uh, you understand, uh, I, I remember next step of our telescope. If you remember the first, uh, that is uh, Dmitry Swinkin, one of the men, he is uh, utilized big to the two times or how much times you utilize it by IPM triangulation, maybe five, ten times, I don't know, very important. He is interested. Why we not come to the northern hemisphere? Because 
master is a re re reaction system. At that time, Ice Cube gives the telegrams. We see neutrino uh, possible here, here. You have a telescope which go around and we lose our radio. Now we appear, he, he remembers this. By the way, that is uh, that was at the 17 August five years ago exactly. We wait the Wednesday. You, I wait you all you on the Wednesday. <laughs> maybe next week uh, uh, events maybe. Okay. Okay. Uh, short question. Uh, Red Dove remains uh, uh, still unclear. So one of possibility it is a dynamical phase of this eruption of common envelope last phases of common envelope. So then it have to be quite frequent in the galaxy, for example, in Andromeda, say once per several years, and you could see it or put some limits on such possibility. Mm. What do you think about this? Uh, uh, why we did not detect the common envelope uh, creation? Yes, stage. I... Stage, dynamical stage. When... Ну, по-русски, объясните мне по-русски, вы уже англичане поняли. Последняя фаза общей оболочки, когда спутник погружается в плотные слои, он начинает тормозиться в динамической шкале ядра. Ну, есть, да. Вот. Это мне не надо объяснять. Вы что хотите, чтобы мы увидели это или что? Я хочу, чтобы или это красно? А, я понимаю. Ну, ответ а, очень... Кстати, Режиме, да, а у нас мы снимаем каждую ночь Андромеду. Все это наши потомки найдут потом. Наши потомки потом обработают, и у нас суперкомпьютеры. Об этом мы будем говорить в четверг. У нас не хватает мощности для обработки всего материала, который получил мастер. Но but, uh, I would like to answer Александр Васильевич that the common envelope stage very long. About 10 10 to 4. But yeah. very yes, very short, but this is uh, time scale, initial time scale. It's not very, it's not very short. No one. Yes, I, I understand that you discussed, you discussed our Red Nova phenomena, which we uh, may be connected. That is some explanation. Alexander Vasilyevich, you are closer to this paper. <laughs> you are closer, close, but uh, published several years ago. We cannot change that next paper, maybe. Uh, concerning yeah, your observation of very long periodic uh, uh, eclipse binary, did you see the Doppler shifts to to find out the velocities and to purify the period? No, that is my, uh, I understand uh, this may be detected by a fanatic on the six meter telescope. You mean the, uh, what Doppler shifts so you mean? What you, 70 years. Y yes, 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 I understand. Why, why do you so sure that this is Binary. Maybe it's some bursting event happens. Uh, uh, good question. Thank you very much. I, I have short time in paper you can read and you can explain this ununderstandable, fully understandable system. Very interesting uh, miracle. Uh, but uh, I would like to show you that fortunately in 19th century, Garvard astronomers detected this occultation we have three occultation and periodic a period discovered we cannot to take the first hours uh, second at the second war before second 60 years you can calculate a second war and uh, and uh, next in the 19th century in the plate people found same this is five magnitude amplitude so it's very good story, very good question. I am very, 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 very,
Геннадий Семенович, мы очень строго относимся друг к другу. Все, пошел я, братцы, спасибо. Не, погодите, а может быть вопросы в интернете? А у нас что, кофе брать сейчас? Да. А, ну так и что, сидите тогда и спрашивайте. Ну, народ... Нет вопросов в интернете. Но... Возьмем что? Тогда, коллеги, первая часть заседания завершилась. Сейчас перерыв. Да, подойдите сюда, быстренько.